Welcome to the wet and windy Werribee 4x4 Proving Ground, just down the road from where Ford designed and engineered its Ranger pickup. Now Ford has updated the Ranger for the 2019 model year, making changes to safety, equipment and styling. It's also offering the 2 litre bi-turbo diesel engine from the Ranger Raptor for the first time. But let's find out exactly what's new about the Ranger. Possibly the biggest change to the Ranger lineup is the occlusion of autonomous emergency braking and semi-autonomous active park assist, the latter of which is a first for the pickup segment. Standard on Wild Track and optional on XLT, the new tech will certainly appeal to customers looking to use their Ranger as more than just a workhorse, potentially even for those who wanted to play the role of family car. Exterior styling has been tweaked slightly with a new grille and front fascia. XLT versions gain HID headlamps and LED daytime running lights, while the Wild Track scores LED fog lights. Inside, the 8 inch Stink 3 touchscreen infotainment system is available as an option on the mid spec XLS and is standard on the XLT and Wild Track. The entire interior is laid out well with a clean arrangement of buttons and display. The chunky steering wheel sits well in the hands and gives you a feeling of comfort and control. Ford has included the 157kW 500Nm 2.0-litre bi-turbo diesel engine from the Raptor in the new Ranger lineup, which is offered on select models for a $1200 premium over the 3.2-litre 5-cylinder equivalent. Performance from the bi-turbo engine is not noticeably more potent than the 3.2-litre, however it does have an advantage in other areas. The bi-turbo has a slightly sharper throttle response than the larger donk, and engine noise under acceleration is noticeably quieter. It is also less thirsty than the old 3.2. Ford's engineers have made some minor suspension changes that make the Ranger better to drive when towing or hauling a large payload, and while we were unable to drive the car while towing, we had plenty of time behind the wheel with unladen versions. The Ranger generally is one of the better mannered pickups for ride quality and the updated version is still commendable. Road imperfections are generally dealt with well, however we did occasionally find ourselves wishing for a softer suspension tune. A short off-roading exercise also helped demonstrate the ability of the Ranger, with low range gearing, a rear differential lock and hill descent control helping it through slippery and testing conditions. Prices have increased across the range between $300 and $1,000, a reasonable increase considering the changes. Ford has not tried to reinvent the wheel with the new Ranger, rather focusing on improving small elements of an otherwise excellent pickup. Where sales are concerned, the Ranger has spent the last couple of years as a runner-up to Toyota's Hilux. Now, will this update be enough to tip it over to number one? Only time will tell, but if you want to hear more of our thoughts on the new Ranger, head to goauto.com.au.